Welcome to Making Video Games with Python Lesson 4. In this video, we're going to embark on our first video game called Zombie Thanksgiving. We're going to see how we can load, draw, and resize image, images as part of that first step of making a video game. So let's get to it. So let's take a quick preview of what this game is called Zombie Thanksgiving. So the idea behind the game is that we have the zombie that wants to eat our turkey, so it's our job to kind of kill the zombie before it eats the turkey. Now, hopefully one of the things you'll notice is that every time I shoot the zombie, it's lower, so it also gets pissed off, so it's going a lot faster. As it gets faster, it's a little harder. It's also more aggressive. So it has the opportunity to possibly... Did I get it? No. <laughs> So the zombie managed to eat the turkey before I was able to kill it. So this is the guts of uh, what we're looking to create within the next few uh, videos. So go to your game folder, uh, open it up, and what we're going to need to have is some additional resources for the games essentially in terms of pictures. So let's see, here's the picture of the turkey. We also have a picture of the zombie. A game over, one that we could possibly use. We didn't see that in the game, but we're going to implement it as part of the video. Uh, the crosshairs, as well as the background. Again, there'll be a link uh, in the video uh, as part of YouTube of where you can download these images. So let's go to open up our game. And currently what we have is our basic game template, which imports the library, uh, creates the game object, and it has our game loop that will keep looping as long as the game is not over. While it's doing that, it's going to process the input, uh, update the game, and then finally quit the game. Now I think the first thing we need to do is to simply update the title of the game to the name of our game, which is Zombie Thanksgiving. Uh, let's just go ahead and update that and run it. And again, you can see here the name is right up here. Again, nothing too fancy, but we needed to have that. <laughs> All right, for this next step, uh, we have to go back to our game library because we're going to introduce another object from the game library, which is called the image class. So let's scroll down. until we see class image. All right, so again, as part of any game, um, it's important to have images. I mean, there are some games that get away without images, but by and large, most games use images to kind of, you know, portray the characters on the screen as well as backgrounds and any additional information. Looking at the init function, which tells us how we should create an image object, uh, we can see here we need a path to where the image is, and we also need to provide the game variable. Again, this use alpha, uh, we don't need because it already has an, uh, a value. Plus, it's a special case that we'll be introducing in a future lesson. So let's give it a try. So the first thing I think we should do is to load up the background. So let's create a variable called BK, which is an image. Again, this is from that image class. And we saw that the first thing it needs is a path to the image. Now, because all our images are stored right in the same location as our Python file, we can simply just put the name of the picture. And this happens to be, I believe, a JPEG. So it's important to also include the file type of that particular image. Uh, so these are PNGs, this is a GIF. Again, you're only going to have to deal with that when it comes to images and sound. Now, if you recall, going back to the game library, that it's not just enough to provide the path to the image. You also have to provide the game variable, this variable here. And that way, the computer knows to associate, Python knows to associate this picture with our game. Now, we're going to go ahead and run it. OK, we don't see our background. But I do want to impress on you, what we also don't see is any errors. Because uh, again, you might have an error if you type the name wrong. Uh, let me demonstrate that. So let's say you decided to type it with a lowercase z. Oops. 
missing a period period. <laughs> there we go. I just wanted to show you that, you know, there is value in running your code as often as you can. So you can spot these small errors like this. So let's put the capital Z back in, put the period back in. And now let's handle the idea that the image is not being drawn in our game. Now I've kind of given you a hint there. All we've done is create a variable to represent our image. We actually have to draw our image. And if you go to the image class and scroll down a little bit, there is a nice little function called draw. And that's what we're going to do inside of our game loop. So we're going to say bk dot draw. So within the loop, we're telling the, uh, the program, the video game, to draw the background. Ta -da. Now, hopefully one thing you'll immediately notice is that, wait a minute, the picture looked a lot bigger when we looked at it like this. That is true. It's because the image is a large image, and we have to resize it to the size of our game. Now, if you notice the way I said it, that's giving you a hint as to what we need to do with our images. So let's scroll through our image class and let's see if we can find a function that will allow us to resize the image to a particular width and height. And sure enough, there is a function that will allow us to do that. So let's go back over here and right after we create that BK variable, let's simply write resize two and let's resize it to the same width and height as our game window. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, much better, right? So now let's try another picture for practice. So let's take a look at, where's my folder? Did I close my folder up? That's right. Let's take a look at the zombie. So the zombie looks cool. Let's load that one up. So similar process, let's create a variable called zombie. It's an image. And I believe it was zombie.png. Let's go back to our folder just to verify. It's zombie and it's a .png. Uh, don't forget to associate this image with the game. So you'll notice you have to do that for every single image. And let's not forget, let's also draw the zombie in our game. Again, if we don't draw the, the particular image within the game loop, it just won't draw. Okay, so the first thing we notice is that the zombie is huge, which is okay. We do have a way that we can resize it by a certain amount. Now you might be tempted to use resize two. Now the only issue with resize resize two is that you need to specify a specific width and height. Now because the zombie seems to be a lot taller than it is wider, you're gonna have to get those proportions right. There is another option to resize images, which is to resize it by some percent. Uh, and I like this one because this kind of handles the math for you as to, well, how much should the width and height be if I'm gonna shrink it down by 50%. So let's go here, let's do res uh, zombie resize by, and let's say negative 80. Now what the negative sign means is that you're gonna shrink it. If you provide resize by a positive number, then it's going to grow it. And let's take a look at it, see if that was enough. Okay, so uh, here's a zombie. I think I would probably want to make it a little smaller. So let's try 85. Okay, again, at this point, you could, you could tweak it as much as you want, you know, to your liking as to how big the zombie should be within this world. But let's go back to our presentation. Let's review what we've done. So in this particular video, uh, we introduced the game that we're going to create through the next uh, few videos, which is Zombie Thanksgiving, where we have to try to kill the zombie before it eats the turkey. We saw how we can load images uh, from our folders into our game and then how to draw them within the uh, game loop.
Some images may need to be resized because the original pictures may be either too small or too big. So hopefully you're excited about being able to continue creating Zombie Thanksgiving and enjoy.